I don't think we've ever started a video with a preview of coming attractions, but we want to let you know that coming soon we'll be doing a little video right here at the cemetery in Moores, Moores Riverside Cemetery, and we'll be looking closer at that plaque, and they'll be putting up a new gate very, very shortly, so we'll be coming here with Mickey uh, uh, Brassard and maybe some other folks, and we'll be doing a little update on this Riverside Cemetery in Moores. We're going to wander across the street right now. We've got the annual Labor Day Parade. That'll be starting uh, in about 25 minutes, but before we do that, we want to take a look inside here at Jack Dragoon's uh, tractor, some of his tractor collection, just to give you an idea. This is set up through most of the summer months. Uh, you can drive by here on Route 11 and uh, Check out some of these uh, these tractors that are on display. If you're thinking of a collection that would be owned by Jack Dragoon, you would know that it would be predominantly, if not entirely, red. I'm going to start with this Farmall Cub here with a mower underneath. No, uh, no information on the ages of these vehicles. They've all got Dragoon's Farm Equipment uh, <laughs> labels on them somewhere. There's a McCormick Farm All. And uh, pick up your cultivators or whatever right there. In any case, case uh, you told me uh, 60 years ago that uh, Case and International Harvester would be one company. I would think that International Harvester bought Case, but that's not not the case. <laughs> it's Case IH. So that's a, a Case Orange. Another little garden tractor over here, International 284. And a McCormick Deering F20 model. I'm sure everyone watching already knew that. Got the pulley here. Certainly looks like an older model, doesn't it? And then we have a McCormick Farm All 300. And then McCormick Farm All Super H. Always happy to mention that we, our first. Farmall was a Super H first tractor. It was a John Deere B, which is still owned by the family. And Super H. Temperatures in the upper 50s. This barely, I think it was just fairly 55 in my car here, so mid to upper 50s. Uh, rain through a good part of the day, uh, overnight I should say, and uh, rain threatening for a good part of the day, so uh, not a great forecast, unfortunately, for the Morris Fire Department for their parade and activities here, barbecue and games and other activities. Here's an international standard, W4. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this tractor has seen better days. Look at that pulley there.
It includes the <laughs> Dragoon's sticker on it. International Standard. McCormick Standard W4. A little bit better shape than its neighbor here. Looking pretty good, in fact, cushion seat and everything. Just keeping air in the tires is a full time job on these old tractors. And here we have a McCormick Farmall 200. Not sure what it's dragging back there, but it can. <laughs> it's got uh, bars that uh, allow you to lift it and whatever. Some of these old machines are really specialists, specialized activities, and you have to have somebody who knows what they're talking about, so I'm not even going to speculate. Farmall 200, and there is a case. Not a six pack, but a case. Almost looks like it should have iron wheels. That's how old it looks. Got the crank to start it up. You have to be ready to get out of the way when you turn that cr crank. <coughs> the soup can is uh, optional. You keep the water out of the out of that vent. Now the Millers are here. There we go. Here's a iron wheel that's been rubberized. A rubberized iron wheel on this McCormick Deering. Front wheels too have been rubberized. Imagine it cuts down a little bit on the bouncing and it protects the highway too. These tractors weren't made for paved roads. And you got the crank. Previous one has the crank. One thing with the uh, rubberized iron wheels, you haven't got to worry about getting a flat. Just get that rubber and wrap it right around. And I'm sure, it must be one heck of a process to get it done, though. M, Farmall M. I have to get Jack to put up the years of these tractors next year. Just have them come out here the day before and stick a year on here. Okay, some of them have the little cap that keeps the water out and when the tractor's running, that opens up and the, the exhaust comes out. And the farmer sitting behind it can breathe in that exhaust, of course. Breathing in the exhaust is part of the charm of driving one of these. Not sure what the heck this is. It's orange. Doesn't have any, it's a case. I can see an SE right here, barely. It's a case. Figured with that color it should be a case, but doesn't mean it would be a case. Uh-oh, sounds like. Sounds like the Connie. Sounds like Connie Menard is getting busy on the mic. Beautiful day, beautiful day because we're all together. I don't see very many zucchinis and mosquitoes out there. I don't understand why. But uh, yeah, I don't see very many zucchinis and mosquitoes out there. I don't understand why. But stay tuned. The parade will start momentarily. 
And we're going to wrap it up here with the tractor show with the McCormick Farmall. McCormick International Farmall Diesel. A B450. A B450. A uh, 2x4 is optional here. <laughs> <laughs> like the the seat broke or whatever they uh, <laughs> you're gonna be a farmer you better <laughs> be able to improvise uh, that was a little improvisation here it looks like they had a crank for this one i would say it probably as a backup i don't i would think this started without the crank but if you needed the crank it's available So that's what's here this year on uh, this uh, Labor Day weekend, September 4th, 2022. And uh, these tractors, as we said, are usually a good number of them are here throughout the summer months. So come down Route 11 and Moors and take a look next year. <laughs>